All right, we're going to be palpating the transverse abdominis. So I prefer to start off in a sideline position since this muscle really is going as far back as the thoracolumbar fascia. And it's going to be attaching kind of up and down on iliac crest as well as ribs and making its way towards the linea alba. So I like to start off in a sideline position just so I can get a little bit better access to that low back area. So I'm going to start off by palpating his 12th rib right in this area here and then kind of rounding the corner onto this thoracolumbar fascia and the low back and then onto the iliac crest as I work my way anterior along the iliac crest and then onto just the more lateral part of the inguinal ligament. Are you comfortable with me kind of working just past mm -hmm. that? Okay. So I'm not gonna go too far in this position. I will turn him into a supine position to kind of finish off that palpation, but there's a portion of it. And then I will round the other direction, counting up along kind of that lower costal cartilage and rib attachment as it goes from ribs 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, and seven, which means the xiphoid process. And it really is just along that inside edge of those ribs. So it doesn't go over top of the ribs, it stays right to kind of that internal almost aspect of it. So we have a broad origin here, and I'm gonna ask my partner just to turn onto his back for me. So that muscle is coming from the posterior as it's working its way, and that's gonna to start to spread out as it goes along the iliac crest and the inguinal ligament and towards the pubic bone, as well as towards the xiphoid. If you would be so kind as to reach across, you can create a border with your opposite hand, just kind of across that pubic bone, good. So I'm gonna palpate down along the inguinal ligament and then get towards that linea alba. So this is its insertion all along that linea alba and that kind of rectal sheath all the way up to the xiphoid process where it has that costal cartilage of rib seven. So you have a broad muscle in here that goes from posterior running forward into the center. So because it's fiber direction is really transverse and both parts are equally grabbing, all it really does is pulls equally and then actually ends up compressing the abdominal contents flat. If you're able to remove your hand away for us, just so we can kind of see that. And the idea here is that you're going to try to take your umbilicus or your belly button and try to suck it and tighten up your core towards your spine. Excellent. Just like that. So what I'm going to do is get you relaxed now. So to feel that, I'm going to go on both sides. You can do this unilaterally or both sides. You're going to kind of squeeze in between the iliac crest and the ribs. And then you're going to get them to do that action again. Pull their belly. Excellent. And what you'll feel is that muscle almost wants to flatten and pull out in this direction here. So he's going to relax. So oftentimes people believe this is one of the really, really important core muscles. And that's people have difficulties engaging it. So this is something you really want to test to see if your person is able to engage their transverse abdominis. And then you might have to teach them some exercises to engage it. We don't have a manual muscle test for this. And again, a length would be basically trying to pull the belly button away from the spine. So that's not really something that we go through. So it really is more about your palpation and are they able to engage? And then you might do other abdominal exercises, maybe something such as a plank, just to see how well they can engage this transverse abdominis. So let's get one more activation of this just to kind of see. So again, he's going to try to pull his belly button tight, tight, tight towards the spine. Good as that flattens out and this part starts to get engaged along here as the belly button gets pulled towards the spine and you can relax for us. Excellent.